Hi, I'm Michael Rudloff. I'm a technical product specialist here at DigiCert, and I'm going to show you how to install and configure Posh Acme on Windows. Normally, we would use CertBot for the Acme issuance of certificates, but the support has actually stopped for Windows, and therefore um, we're using Posh Acme instead. Posh Acme is using PowerShell, so it comes as a, as a module essentially, which makes it fairly easy to use. So the first thing we're gonna do here in PowerShell is we install the module itself. With module name and then Posh Acme. Yes. And probably going to ask me about the repository in a sec. Yes, it sure does. The next step is now to actually import the module, so we have import module and its name Posh Acme, and that's that done. Next is the configuration. Um, so I'm just configuring Posh Acme here for a, pretty much a single use, but being a PowerShell module means you can obviously make use for it in any script you might have and any other automation script. First thing to do here is to configure the Acme URL. So you're getting an Acme URL from your provider. In terms of DigiCert, it's either Cert Central or just Lifecycle Manager. So here we use the uh, setpa server command to configure the URL. Next, we need to configure the Acme details, such as the ID and the secret. We can do this by, or well, in my case, I'm simply using uh, environment variables for it. So we have here the AIB kit, so the Acme uh, ID. You get this from either Search Central or Trust Lifecycle Manager. Then we have the secret, and then we're creating the Acme account. <clears throat> Which is valid, so now we know it was able to create the Acme account, and we are ready to issue a certificate. However, what I'm demonstrating here is not just a simple private certificate, like a self-signed certificate, but I'd like to issue a public certificate. For this, I'm issuing a DV certificate, which is a domain validated certificate. And for the validation here, I'm using DNS validation in AWS. So I'm, I have a domain called tlsguru.io. DNS is hosted in AWS and root 53. So the next thing is to essentially install the plugin or rather configure the plugin. First thing to do here is to create or to configure the credentials. For this, we're going to create yet another variable the format for this is like this. So the argument with the root 53 access key as well as secret key, but I'm going to run this command off screen. So I'm gonna pause the recording for a second because I obviously don't want to share my details. So I'll be right back. So I've run the screen and, well, I've run the command and cleared the screen. The next step is to simply issue the certificate. So we already have um, Posh Acme configured. We have the Acme account configured. We have the access for root 53 configured. And then the next step is to actually 
request a certificate. Again, the domain here is tlsguru.io. I'm using the root 53 plugin, using the arguments, which are the credentials like the access key and the secret key from AWS. Right now it doesn't show any progress, but it will take a few minutes because it doesn't just request the certificate, but it of course also has to validate the DNS. So it takes a little while for the DNS propagation, which is about 60, uh, well, well, 60 seconds, two minutes, etc. Once the issuance is completed, as well as the DNS validation, we get the response here with the uh, common name with the expiration date as well as the thumbprint and if we go to the posh acme installation folder which is actually in your profile and in my case administrator app data local and posh acme we can see the folder with the acme url and if we go in here and basically drill down to tlsguru.io we can here see now all the certificates private keys as well as the CSR. So if we now, for example, I mean, this that's an X509. If we go to the full chain, we can see what the certificate is. Again, it's issued by GeoTrust TLS ECC. So that's the public um, certificate authority, as well as the, the domain. We can see it's tlsguru.io it's issued to. And as mentioned before, because it's a PowerShell module, you can now, of course, create your own automation. And that is how you use Poshakme. Thank you very much.